What's going on guys? Robin Three Strong. Today I'm going to talk about how to improve your push-up. The push-up is a movement that is, well, it's a, it's a really good upper body um, strength movement, but it also works the core muscles, the abs. So we don't, so we not only get the arms, the chest, but we get the abs and actually the legs too. So it works the whole front side of your body. However, I'm sure you've seen some people try push-ups and it starts to look a little funky. So today I'm going to show you how to refine the push-up and actually scale it to make it easier. Because some people can't do full push-ups on the hands and the toes and they'll have to do modified push-ups. And even then, um, those, that modification can become problematic. He really does not care right now. Anyway. Um, I've talked about the shoulder joint in a little bit more detail and how we can get impingement issues if we let our shoulder blades slide forward too much. If, if you want to get a little bit more information on that, watch my how to bench press video. I, I go over a lot of the details of the shoulder. And that same thing applies. Like I said, the, the shoulder blade is the foundation which with, with with which the shoulder sits on. So if we have a very mobile shoulder blade, then that starts to create issues in the shoulder when really we need the shoulder blades to lock into place and then let the arms and chest do the work instead of having everything moving and we're very loose. That could lead to that shoulder impingement like I just said. The other thing with the push-up that's interesting that you don't have to deal with um, on the bench press is your core strength. You are actually holding a plank. A push-up is really just a moving plank. So if we don't keep our abs tight, then we're gonna have too much laxity. And I'll show you. If the abs give out, that starts to look like this. You get this snaking motion going. So you're going down, and then you get this arched back, the hips, the arms are almost locked out by the time I get the hips up. So this makes it easier on my arms and easier on my abs, but I'm, I'm going way too loose here. And this could actually lead to issues in your lower back because you're extending way too far. But first, let's just look at what a, a good, the ideal push-up looks like. And it's, and it's the same thing as if you're going to do a bench press. We really want, you're going to treat it like you have this imaginary bar in your hands and our and our bench press really wants to go down to about the sternum here. So if we were to hold a bar, the bar is going to cross right over the sternum. We don't want to get up into this kind of chicken wing position where the bar is coming to our throat. And that's, that's what people do a lot on the, on the push-ups. The hips start to slide back, the feet start to slide back, and they get this kind of forehead to hands kind of position. We really don't want that at all. We want to keep the hands down at about sternum level and that allows us to get, notice how you can see the elbows are right behind the wrists and that allows us to drive straight through instead of getting these weird angles. Okay, we want everything aligned and then driving straight through. So, if you can do this, holding yourself nice and stable, then you're on the way to be able to do a push-up. But first, let's just start at the ground. Remember, we don't want the elbows up here. We want then back, so get the thumbs underneath your chest to sternum level and then slide them straight out. Notice how that automatically gets my elbows right over my wrist. Then from here, you are going to pull the shoulder blades in, into the back pockets, squeeze the legs straight, keep the abs tight, keep everything tight and drive straight up. Keeping everything solid. Back down, drive straight up. Granted, that's easier for some people to do than others, so the modification to work those abs, but also to work the chest without sacrificing that lower back, we have that modified knee push-up. But this is actually at a different angle. Notice how I'm more horizontal with this one. This one actually turns to a little bit more vertical, almost like I'm doing a push-down. And we don't want that. So what I'll have you do to do a modified is just get the feet set, you're going to squeeze the abs, go up on the knees as far as you can, and then kick the legs straight to go up. So let me move up so I can show you that. So get the feet planted, the knees are on the ground, 
get the arms set up, drive up as far as you can while anchoring yourself on your knees. Notice how my hips come up at the same time. Push up through the knees, and then once you get to that spot, kick the legs straight. It's a very subtle motion, but now I've changed it from doing a push up on my toes to on my knees and just that subtle shift up. That is not this. You're not gonna snake like that. Everything is solid from the shoulder all the way to the knees. Come up and then get the knees up. Okay? Give that a shot. Either do the full push up and work the reps of that or do that modified one where you're getting up on, onto the knees as far as you can and then kick the legs straight. Eventually, you're going to be able to push yourself all the way up into that push up and you're going to be totally bad ass. Some people are just not impressed. See you guys later.